Welcome, Benny Physics here. Today I'm going to analyze one of the Mythbusters episodes. This is the episode, uh, Season 16, Household Disasters episode. And one of the myths, I'm not going to tell you what the, the myth is they're trying to bust, I want you to watch it yourself. But I'm going to um, analyze the physics of uh, part of one of the myths where they drop uh, very sized pianos from a certain height above a roof and propose whether they should crash through or not. Kind of propose in one scenario or the other is they just let it go and see what happens. Okay, so let me um, uh, let me go ahead and let you watch the um, the uh, the intro to uh, the first scenario where they drop an upright piano 50 feet above a roof. Here we go. We're going to take it up 50 feet above the roof and drop it. Now it's going to be traveling at 38 miles an hour and it's going to hit the rooftop with 12,000 pounds of force. This is a roof. We'll be dropping the piano right on the bullseye. Now at that target point, a roof of this design is capable of supporting a static load of approximately 2,200 pounds. Let me show you what it looks like inside. And we've specifically chosen the target point to be between the roof joists so it has the best possibility of punching through. But that's not all. In order for this myth to be confirmed, it has to punch through the floor too. Now this floor is capable of supporting a static load of 4,200 pounds. And if you do all the math, that means we just might see a hole in the roof and a hole in the floor. Okay, so Grant there says, if you do all the math, that we might see a hole in the roof and a hole in the floor. Um, you heard uh, 12,000 pounds of force and impact quoted. So I think what Grant is thinking is this, their estimate here is going to exceed the 2,200 pounds what he calls a static load. And since this exceeds this, there should be a, uh, the, the, fl the piano should go through the roof. Okay, so what he had wrong here is, this is 2,200 pounds per square foot. Okay, so the big difference. Okay, so this is quoted, pounds over feet, or force over area squared, is a measure of pressure. Okay, so let's do some physics on this. Okay, so 50 feet. 50 feet. And let's verify this number. So they claim that the impact force will be 12,000 pounds. Okay, so how do we get that number? Okay, first thing we want to do is compute the velocity of the impact. Okay, so how do we get the velocity of the impact? For something that falls 50 feet, how fast will it be traveling? Okay, there's a nice little equation that can be derived from Newton's second law, and it's this. For something initially at rest, if you take the square root of 2 times acceleration due to gravity, and in feet per second squared, that's 32, times the distance in feet, that will give you the velocity in feet per second at impact. Okay, So that comes out to 56.6 feet per second. Okay, so that's one thing we need. The next thing we need is we need acceleration. Some might call it deceleration, um, but we're going to call it acceleration in the opposite direction. Okay, so this roof is going to bring that piano to a stop, and in the process of doing it, it's going to change its speed from 56.6 feet per second to zero. So what's that acceleration? So acceleration is equal to change in velocity over change in time. So I'm going to go from 56.6 to 0, so that's 56.6 up here, okay, and impact time, about 0.1 seconds, okay. Okay, so that can range, um, I did some research and found that a, a number of 0 0.1, 0 0.08, 0 0.15, 0 0.2, th those would all be reasonable numbers. I'm going to go ahead and go with 0 0.1 seconds. So this gives us 566 feet per second squared, 
Okay, so that's our acceleration of impact. Okay, so now all we need to do is compute F equal ma. Okay, we've got the acceleration. Now we need the mass of the piano. Okay, this is not mass, this is force. So how do we get mass if we have the weight in pounds? Okay, there's a nice equation called force of gravity on an object is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. Okay, so mg. So in units of feet per second squared, we know this is 700 pounds. That's the force of gravity on the object. is equal to the unknown m in times 32. So if you solve for m, you get 21.9, 21.9, okay? And that's actually called a, a, a unit of a slug, 21.9. So now we're gonna plug that into here. So force and impact then is gonna be 21.9, okay, times 566, okay? And that comes to a pretty large number of 12,395. So 12,395. And that is the force of the roof on the piano it's also equal to the force of the piano on the roof, right? It's third law. Okay, so let's clean this up a bit and bring this force up here. So the force and impact equal to one, two, three, nine, five. <clears throat> Again, that's pounds of force. Okay, so what's next? Okay, so I think this is what Grant was thinking. Grant kind of implied this thing was going through the roof. But what he was doing, is, I believe, is comparing this to 2200. Okay, he quoted that in terms of pounds. Of course, 20, 12, 395 is greater than 2200. And if that's what you're looking at, you're thinking, yeah, it's going to go through the roof and maybe even the floor. But again, where he got it wrong is this, is a quote, this should have been quoted in terms of pressure or pounds per foot squared. So let's convert this to pressure. Okay? So what's the area over which the impact occurs? Well, that's the area of the base of the piano. Okay, so what is that area? So that area, and I looked this up, for an upright piano, it's about, an upright piano is about five feet by two and a half feet. So five feet this way, about two and a half that way. So five feet times 2.5 feet. Okay, and that gives us 12.5 feet squared. Okay, so pressure is equal to force over area. Okay, so let's compute that. So 12, 395 divided by 12.5, 12.5, so this is pounds, this is feet squared, and that gives us a number of 991.6, so let's call it 992, okay, so 992 pounds per square foot. Okay, so that's the number you want to compare to the 2200. So if uh, 992 is greater than the static load, which is 2200, uh, then it crashes through. But that's not, right? It's less, so it doesn't go crashing through. So is that what they found out? Is that what happened here? So is our physics right? Let's see. Making the roof with a force of 12,000 pounds, it's going to be hard hitting. Okay, here we go. This is Upright Piano at 50 feet, drop through a house in three, two, one. Oh. Oh. And that's what the physics predicted, that it wouldn't crash through. 992 pounds per square foot, the impact pressure uh, is less than the static load in units of pounds per square foot. So physics was right. So stay tuned for uh, the, my next two videos on this, where they uh, allow a grand piano to fall, and then uh, they'll go ahead and uh, increase the weight of this upright piano and see if that will uh, uh, fall through the roof. And they also increase the height. So I've analyzed the physics of those as well, and um, take a look at those. Also, um, you know, please subscribe. The more subscribers I have, the more motivation I have to keep push, putting stuff out out on, on uh, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.